You know, you can be have insomnia six days of the week, but watch and see if you don't sleep Sunday morning. It's something about Sunday morning. Oh, Jesus, oh, I haven't slept all week. The devil does everything in his power to keep you from coming to church because he wants to get you divorced from wisdom. Even though God is setting it up supernaturally because I know how many times that I, you have come in this church and, and I have got in this pulpit and preached and I preached exactly about what you needed to hear. And it hit like he said, was he in my house? What's pastor doing in my house? Who told him? You're going to all your friends. Who told him what's going on in my life? Because that is the wisdom of God, that God does supernatural things. He will place you in positions where you can gain wisdom. Hallelujah. When Pastor Dubal and I, we, we, we knew the Lord had called us to merge two churches, an African-American church and a Caucasian church. We knew that he had called us to do that. The first thing, we, we both realized that we had never done that before. We had never merged two churches before like that. Brought two cultures in together. We had no experience. We, we had an unction of, of the Spirit of God. And in all the words of the Spirit of God told us to do it. But we had never done it. So, so we started looking around. We said, we're going to find someone who's done this. Then, then we, he, he mentioned someone. Then I mentioned someone. He mentioned Dr. Riley Washington who wrote a book on, on bridging gaps and pulling churches together of different cultures. And then I told him about Bishop Dennis Leonard, who, who's in Denver, Colorado, and that, that, he, that he did the same thing. He brought uh, churches, his church in with, with Hispanics and African Americans and, and white brothers and sisters, brought them together. So we said, well, well, we'll see who we can find. So we tried to find Dr. Raleigh Washington, could not find him. Didn't know where he was. He was in Chicago. We weren't sure exactly where he was. So we said, we're going to go to Denver and see Bishop Dennis Leonard so we can get his wisdom. See, when you really want wisdom, you'll, you'll fly to get wisdom. When you value the wisdom, you'll do whatever it takes. You'll spend money for wisdom. Hallelujah. So we, we flew all the way to Denver, and, and while we were in Denver, we were renting a car, and, and, and so we we're telling this man who was renting a car to us about the vision we have for a multicultural, multiracial church. And he says, well, after you visit Bishop Dennis Leonard, there's another church called Church in the City. He said, you ought to go visit that church, too, because it's multicultural, multiracial, too. We said, we'll do that. So we go, we go in the, to Bishop Denzel Leonard's church. We sit there, and, and they just pour wisdom into us. Just pour all the wisdom and the experiences into us. They tell us what, we, to, what to expect and what happened when they did it and the, and the do's and the don'ts and, and, and how to make it flourish and how to hold your ground and stand firm when you need to hold. They gave us all those, that information. I said, this is great. This is great. He said, but we'll go to the other church anyway, the church in, in the city. we we'll go to the church in the city. We come in there, and, and then, then when we get there, we, we start talking to the man about about what we're doing in the plan of God and what we were looking for. And we said we were really trying to find Dr. Raleigh Washington. He said, really? He goes to this church. <laughs> he moved from Chicago to Denver, and he's a member of this church. Where, and both of our mouths said, what? <laughs> See, understand that God will supernaturally put wisdom in, in, in your way. We went to the service, and we saw, we saw our head up there, and Pastor Duba said, there he is over there. So we waited to search church service over and said, we'll approach him. We went over and approached him and, and, and said, and talk, talking to him, told him what God was doing with us. I said, do you have time to go to lunch with us? He looked at his wife and said, is that all right, honey? She said, yeah, go. He went to lunch with us, sat down, and began to share everything. Share everything. That's called a God hookup. But see, arrogance, pride, is always saying, I don't need anyone to help me. I, I'll, I'll teach myself. I know how to read the scriptures. And the bad thing about that, that's so childish. Can I say that? That's, I, I tell you, that's, that's childish because that's what a four-year-old does. 
a four-year-old walking around and his shoes are flopping all over the place. It's all unloose. And then you try to help him and say, let me tell you, she's like, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> we ought to have grown beyond a four-year-old where we're walking around and our life is flopping. <laughs> about ready to trip over our own shoes. About ready to hurt ourselves. But we won't allow anyone else to speak wisdom into us. And when there is no wisdom, there is no change. Change is a result of obtaining wisdom. When I get wisdom, then I can get change. Without wisdom, there is no change. Hallelujah. God has called us to, be, to have the wisdom of, 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 his, of him to himself. And the, and the way he does it, he does it. Some, we, sometimes we don't like the way he does it. This is why sometimes people fast for 40 days, 40 nights, asking God for some help. Lord, don't say a thing. But what he do, did tell you was go to talk to Pastor Miller. He said, go talk to Pastor Miller. He said, oh, yeah, I know, but I'm looking for some wisdom. He says, I'll go Pastor Dubal. I'm, talk, give me some wisdom first, and then I'll go to Pastor Dubal. Go to Pastor Rice. Well, I, give me wisdom. Show me how to do it first, and then I'll make a, 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 a commitment to go to, I'll also go see Pastor Rice. And what he's saying is go to them, and out of them, I'm going to give you wisdom. And this church is full of wisdom. This church is packed with wisdom. If I want to know anything about being a police officer, I bet you I can find one. I bet you, I bet you, let me see. Can I find a police officer? If I want to know anything about firefighting, let me see. Hmm. If I want to know anything about Russia, can I find someone? Nigeria, can, can I find someone? The electrical business, can I, can I find someone in here? My, my goodness, boy, hmm, can I, can I find what I need? Tr oh, truck driving? Yeah, 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 I, wanna, I don't know anything about truck driving. I want to, is there anybody in here knows anything about driving trucks? Maybe there's a couple people who know something about driving trucks. We go without wisdom. Which means we go without change because our pride will not allow us to seek wisdom. 